Hey there! My name is Ro Angela, and in this video, I will be showing you how I set up my Krita app for digital art. So let's get right into the video. You can download the Krita app for free through the Play Store. And when it installed, mine installed in Dutch because my tablet is also set in Dutch, but I prefer the app in English. So the first thing I did was change the language into the English language by going through the settings menu. This is the first screen in Krita. At this point, you cannot draw anything yet. You firstly need to start a new file and you can choose your canvas size. You can set up the name for your project and click on create, open your new project. When you open your project, you see your workspace. That's like the setting of your screen, your toolbar, your toolbox, and dockers, brushes, layers, etc. And this is customizable. So you can customize it to your preferences. You can also choose from different workspaces or create your own workspace and save it for later. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to save the workspace I create. With your S Pen, you can just click and hold into the toolbox to open up the menu and resize your toolbox or the icons of your toolbar. You can click and hold on the dots there to also make it smaller. This way, you can use a little bit more of your screen. The next thing, you can also customize your docker, like change the place you want the brushes, the advanced uh, color selector, uh, the layers, everything is customizable. So I'll show you how I prefer it.
Here I was playing a little bit with the different settings, the different windows and see which one I would prefer. I end up choosing for the layer, tool option and overview to be in the same window so I can switch between tabs and brushes, advanced color selector above. You can go to settings, configure Krita to change a lot of the general settings. As a completely beginner, I wouldn't recommend you to adjust a lot of things. I changed some of the basic things I found crucial for using the app for digital drawing. Some of the things I changed was like the palm rejection, which window or what screen I would want to start with when the Krita app opens my canvas only mode, canvas border color, and also where I would like to save my project and auto save interval and the layer thumbnail pop-up. I didn't really like the way my canvas only mode uh, look so I went back in so I went back and adjusted a little bit more at this point you can keep playing with it and see which settings you would prefer or works best for you if you go to settings and dockers you can also add a lot of more items to your docker I didn't add a lot but I love the idea to have an overview of my project so i add the overview so i can switch between the tabs If you go to settings and toolbar, you can add or remove any available action. Things you would prefer to see above, main toolbar section, you can choose from this list or remove it. The main 
toolbar remains visible when you go to the canvas only mode. So here I selected the tools I frequently used so they can be accessible when I'm in the canvas only mode. I really enjoy the canvas only mode. It is really accessible, really easy to use, easy to follow. I mainly use the finger gestures. From the canvas only mode, you get access to all the brushes, change the opacity, change the brush sizes, change your color, and you have access to the main toolbar actions. So you really have all the things you need to make a really beautiful project. Now I'm going to show you how the finger gestures work. Really easy to follow. You can use two fingers to zoom in, zoom out. Four fingers and tap for canvas only mode. Four fingers and tap to go back normal mode. You can use one finger to move your canva around. One finger tap color selector and the brushes. And you can rotate your canva. Two fingers and tap to undo, three fingers tap to redo, and that's it. Now let's test all the settings we made by creating drawing.
face.